Remember the video we did on the poor man sluice box where you need nothing more than a drill and a bucket? Well, this time we're taking all your ideas and suggestions out of the comment section and we're cramming them all into one design. Oh, yeah! And this one works 10 times better than the last one because this right here, this is a game changer. So if you haven't seen that video of us finding gold with a drill and a bucket, I'm gonna leave a link right here. Go ahead and click on it, watch that video and you'll see all the working principles of how it's done. It works every time. You don't even need a sluice box it's that effective so what makes this one better than the last one well what we did is we went through all the comments in the last video and we pulled out the very best ideas and we put them all together into one working concept and what we came up with was so effective that I would put it up against any blue bowl or sluice box any day of the week and here it is right here so this is the Jeff and Leela's poor man sluice box and it's a really simple design and you can get everything you want at Lowe's or Home Depot and we'll leave a link down below to where you can find any magnet you can imagine, all neodymium. In actuality, you're gonna need three buckets to make this work. One is the primary bucket, one is a pad for it to sit on, and then one is a catch bucket. I guarantee when you see how this thing works, it's gonna be like, mind blown. You're gonna take a four inch hole saw and you're gonna square it up and cut directly into the bottom of the bucket. Go into the plumbing section, get a four inch coupler that has the flange on the inside. See that? Then you're going to get yourself a two inch reducer that fits inside of the four inch. You'll slide them together. Then you're gonna get a window screen that acts as a classifier. If you don't have an extra window screen laying around, go ahead and look in the kitchen and see if you can find a strainer in there. <laughs> So you're gonna cut that out and you're gonna fit that inside. Now the neat thing is, is I can pop this thing out. See that? And that way, if you wanna go with a higher or lower mesh, you can. Just cut it out in a round circle. And because this thing has got grooves in it or actual threads, you can just set it down inside there and it pops right in. And the threads on the inside wall keep it in place. Now to keep this thing in place and to keep it from leaking, use a glue gun to glue around the outside on the bottom and on the inside, that way it doesn't leak. It keeps it nice and firm. So now at this point, you should have something that looks something like this, right? Are you with me? Well, if you're with me, you better smash that like button, smash it hard. Your second bucket, you're gonna cut the second bucket from the bottom to the top, and that's gonna be six and a half inches. You're gonna take your four inch hole saw and you're gonna cut another hole in the bottom, just like that. You're gonna cut slits in the sides, four of them. Very important, this is your second bucket. Third bucket, you don't have to do anything at all to the third bucket, okay? While you're in the plumbing section, get yourself a two inch to, I believe it's a quarter reducer. And you can see the threads, very important, it has threads in it, okay? Now the neodymium magnet that you get has to slide inside just like that and like i said i'll leave a link down below where you can get these magnets these neodymium magnets any size any configuration and you're going to get yourself a large bolt that's going to fit in the threads of that hole in the back of the reducer now you don't have to thread it in all the way just a little bit now there's two reasons for this bolt on the bottom one is to keep the magnet in place so it doesn't want to come out and two so you can pull this thing out you'll have something to grab a hold of see this guy right here guess where they're going huh and no banjo required goes right in there like that. <laughs> Just like that. I know, you're thinking, Jeff, that's the craziest looking thing I've ever seen. Oh, trust me, this thing works beautifully. Now, this is how it all goes together. Are you ready? Are you paying attention? This is the pedestal that this sits on inside the other bucket. Aha! Did I catch you off guard with that? Ah, come here, take a look at this. Regular bucket, this is a pedestal. The slits are so the walls will slide in because these buckets are tapered. You understand? This goes in, that way it goes all the way to the bottom. And it should look like that. And it creates a nice little pedestal. And if this plug comes out for whatever reason, this is also a safety catch. Slosh it around and this pops out, you don't lose all the gold that you work for the entire day. That's another reason that's there. You got anything to add to this, Nurse Leela? Huh? You are doing pretty good. Sir. Yeah! <laughs> then you drop him in just like that see how that works everything's nice and snug nothing's coming loose and this is the jeff and leela poor man sluice box 
I guarantee this is gonna be the cheapest build that you ever make that will capture minus 100 gold. And I'm gonna prove it. And the cool thing about this is, is that this can be built for under 30 bucks. Not including the magnet, of course. I know what you're saying, Jeff. Stop all that jaw jacking and put your money where your mouth is. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And yeah, yeah, you're gonna get wet. Now, everything else is the same. Drill, paint stir. That's it. You can't beat it. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, Jeff, can you show us what the capture rate is on a rig like that? Oh, you bet I can. There's the gold right there. You see it? Yeah, right there where my finger is. I'm going to put this into the Jeff and Leela's poor man sluice box, and I'm going to see if I can get it back out. I'm more concerned about the ultra fine load gold. If I can get that out, then I got a winner. The big gold will take care of itself. So we're going to dump a whole bunch of dirt in there and get busy. What do you think about that, huh? I told you you'd never see anything like it before in your life. Now, one of the suggestions was to put one of these blue bowl mats in the bottom, and we tried that. It's a miracle mat, and it fits perfect in the bottom of a five gallon bucket. But we noticed that a lot of the gold was getting trapped underneath and it was hard for the gold to migrate to the front because of all this so we decided to leave it out all right so i'm going to fill this marker up with water a little jet dry now the reason why you want to put water in first because it's a lot easier for this material to soften up break up as it's getting in there if you put the mud in and the clays and the dirt in first and put water on top what's going to happen it's going to compact it down and it's going to be harder for that drill to work does that make sense and if you got some dirty underwear you can throw it in there what too is that? all right here we go got my drill now i've got all the gold in this blue pan and i'm going to dump it in last See how I got the water flowing? It's kicking the organics out. Come on, get in there. Chocolate milk. Okay, now all of our gold is in this finishing pan. I'm gonna dump him in too. Put some more jet dry in there. to dump out a lot as you can but keep the buckets bottom below the top so remember when you're dumping that bucket the butt of the bucket has to sit lower because any heavies will be in the crease at the back of the bucket grass How'd that get in there oh that's from where i dumped my pan and tub dirt shut him off Dump him out. Should be good. Nice. See how much material I have left? After all that, not much at all. Grab both buckets. Carry them over to your panning station. That's my finishing one. Jet dry in the water, remember that. Grab him from the bottom so the plug doesn't come out. Just like that. All right, we're gonna pan him down and see what we got. Stratify. Tilt. Wash it out. Real simple. Big old chunky iron, look at that. Huge iron, jeez. Must be from the cat box. Cats are high in iron, didn't you know that? All right, let me get my cheaters on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. All right, see that we got any gold. 
Oh, there's a piece of gold right there on top, floating right on top. See it? All right, let's do the Williams Wiggle. Williams Wiggle. Ugh. There's a little round ball of gold right there. You see that? That's different. Nice. Yeah. See all the finds in there? Actually, that's more gold than what we started with. Heck yeah, that is a lot more gold than we started with. No, it's not good. Heck yeah, and that's all from the backyard. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I gotta put a claim back here. I keep talking about that. I'm gonna do that. Man, that's a lot of gold. Okay, now I'm curious. What's in the rest of it? I'm gonna put this over here. Finishing pan. Wow, that is a lot of gold. I mean, just for being in the backyard, that is a lot of gold. All right, so the finishing pan will go here. Take him out, pull the plug out the bottom. Look at that. Look at that, I gotta wash him out. I'm gonna put him in there. Make sure he's all washed out of there. I'm gonna put this pan in, finishing pan over here so I don't knock it over. And then all the magnetics are in there. Look at that. Jeez. Looks pretty clean, huh? Clean this guy off. Take him off. Then pop him out. Just like that. Then we'll pan this out and see what else we got. All right, here we go. A lot of heavies. A lot of heavies, baby. Nothing but heavies. Look at that. Jeez. Oh, look at all the fine gold. Look at all the fine gold. See it? Let me get in the light. There. Right there. Sorry, you're chasing me around with that GoPro. Look at the super heavies in there. Let me shake that down. Oh, wow. Look at all that gold. That's where all your fine gold is gonna be, is down in that trap. Look at that. Just gobs and gobs of gold. Nice. See all that, all that super fine gold? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the magnetics out while it's in the water. Just like that. And then I'm gonna dump all this in here. That way we can do a before and after shot. Okay, gold pan looks clean. All right, finishing pan. Ah. Make sure I got no magnetics in it. And I'm sure I got a little bit of gold in there too, but I'm not sweating that. All right, now the moment of truth, get over here. Let's take a look. Look at that. I think it's safe to say we have more gold than what we started with by far. Mm. Look at that. Not only do I got my ultra finds, which are right up in there. See all the load gold? I got all this, oh my gosh, that is on a, I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> oh gosh. I am, I didn't realize there was so much gold in this backyard. Look at that. Nice. And all your finds are in there too, your load gold. super super fine you can't see it but i'll get a picture of it but i can 
ultra fine minus 100 mesh look at that all right so i'm gonna get a snapshot of this up i told you it works with both systems working together it captures not only the big gold but the fine gold that goes down to the bottom give that a shot let me know what you think if you guys got a better way to improve upon what we just came up with go ahead and leave that down in the comment section and if it looks good we'll incorporate it and then make a video out of that and then that way we all benefit from everybody's experience you see how that works and don't you forget to smash that like button you better smash it hard and if you guys like watching videos on how to find gold using geology i'm gonna leave a link right there go ahead and click on it watch it and i guarantee you're gonna learn a lot about how to identify load deposits when you're out in the field and i'll see you on the next video